welcome to the geography class today's topic is distribution of world population the population distribution of the world is not uniform in every part of the earth due to the variation in the nature of topography climate soil uh, resource transport system economic development process etc Due to dominance of lands in northern hemisphere and the prevalence of favorable physical and socio-economic conditions in its large part, about 90% of the world's total population lives in the northern hemisphere. And this prevailing variation in population distribution can also be understood through density of population so how density of population is uh, uh, measured that means number of persons living in per square kilometer of an area so the resultant value after dividing the total population of a region by its total area is the population density of the region so if we say among the continents then asia has the highest population density that is about 93 persons per square kilometer and oceania the lowest because oceania has around 4 persons per square kilometer clear then next come to major factors influencing population distribution so why this population distribution is not equal all over the world? So there are certain factors which we are going to discuss now. So population distribution is influenced by many geographical factors and among them climate, topography, soil, power, mineral resources, transport system, socio-economic condition, etc. are worth mentioning. So each of these factors has a great impact on population distribution. So let's see about climate. Among all the physical factors, the impact of climate is highly significant towards distribution of population. The climatic character of an area is determined by its temperature condition, amount of rainfall, then agricultural activities in a year, etc. So, the weather areas with extreme temperature and rainfall, that is, area having extremely cold or hot condition and excessive rainfall or dry condition, are not suitable for agriculture. Neither suitable for human habitation, and that is why the density of population is very less in such hot and dry deserts area like Sahara and cold snow covered desert areas like tundra then again on the other hand due to prevalence of adequate temperature and high rainfall uh, south and east asia uh, in the tropical monsoon regions they have highly developed agriculture and hence in those places population density is also quite high and then next another factor that influences population distribution is topography Topography has also great impact in the population distribution. For example, due to the topographic differences between mountain and plain regions, there is variation in the population distribution pattern too. Moreover, there exists variation in population distribution even in uh, small areas uh, depending on variation in altitudes, slope, rivers, underground water level, etc. The areas of ravine plains and coastal lowlands have high population because those areas are suitable for agriculture, then transport system is also very good. But if we see the areas covered with rugged and uh, mountainous regions, then they will have very thin population because those places are not suitable for agriculture and also transport system is not suitable 
and hence the areas located in the Himalayan mountainous regions like Arunachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, etc., have a low population density. But the areas like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, and Assam in the Ganga Brahmaputra Plain and coastal Kerala they have high population density. Next, soil. People get attracted to any place of the earth depending upon the quality of soil. Because the land use, uh, vegetation diversity and standard of agriculture of an area are greatly determined by soil quality of that area and therefore the riverine fertile plains of the northern India and eastern China have very high population density because those places have good quality of soil. Then power and mineral resources. Power and mineral resources also influence population density because the way the economic development of an area depends on availability of its power and mineral resources the same way the availability of these resources attract population to that area and in turn the population density increases for example due to the availability of different types of mineral resources in the chotanagpur region of india the population density has increased significantly then next transport system the geographical location and comfortable transport system plays an important role in the distribution of population of that area the people always get attracted to the places for living which have better transport system and that is why the areas in the riverine plain and coastal plains have well developed transport system and they very much attract human habitation and it is because of this population is highly concentrated in uh, india's coastal and gangatic plains then next socio-economic condition Socioeconomic condition also plays a very significant role in determining the population density of an area. That means, in order to attract population, socioeconomic condition also should be very good. People always get attracted to the uh, socioeconomically developed areas for getting employment and also many other facilities. If they get all the facilities, then only that place will be densely populated due to socio-economically developed conditions migration also takes place to such areas in this regard technology also plays a very important role in population density regionally widespread urbanization also results in increase in population density in some areas but due to socio-economic backwardness in some agriculturally developed areas the birth rate becomes high and consequently such places have population density for example socio-economically developed uh, japan and backward bangladesh both the countries have high population density but the reasons are different okay japan is a developed country and due to its development socio-economical development japan has high um, population density but bangladesh being a backward country it has high population density due to birth rate clear so uh, these are factors these were some of the factors that influence population distribution of the world so here i am concluding the class in the next video we will come with another topic thank you